Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots. I had a request to create a keychain with an offset inside of the new XCS from Xtool. Now this free software got a major upgrade. You can check on your software version by coming up to the menu bar and do check for updates, or you can do it inside of the new project software main menu. And for that, you just come over to the little X come down to settings, come down to about XCS, and then you can see, it'll tell you if you're on the latest or it'll tell you if you need an update. So um, it is February 13th and I am on version 2.4.27. And that's what we'll be working with. So over here, you do not need to be connected to a device, but if you do have multiple devices, connect to the one, you can just switch it and be offline, but just connect to the one you want. So I'm gonna tell you first, open up the layers and objects list over here on the left. It's the little diamond cake menu at the very bottom. Next, I'm gonna tell you, go ahead and hit T on your keyboard and type a name. That's it. I'm gonna make mine ridiculously large. You're not going to, um, but it's easier for you to see. So I'm going to come up with the text box selected to the text fonts. I'm going to choose lobster because I think everybody has lobster. It's like one of the default ones. Now, when you're looking at this font, there's a couple of things you're automatically going to notice. If it's not connected, meaning there's three separate pieces, that's an easy fix. I'll show you two ways. You also have overlap. Never uh, send anything to your laser that has overlap. Never send anything with the blade if you're working with the M1 Ultra because that will actually cut that little part of the A out of the R. So we can fix that one of two ways. I'm gonna make a copy so we can come to it in a second. The first and easiest way is to come up to the brand new uh, more menu when you have a text box selected. This is leading, this is kerning, which they call spacing. And if you enter a negative, maybe six, five, what is that? Eh, that's a little tight. But if you enter a negative, it'll bring them together. If you go from zero, let's say you want to go to two, it's going to space them apart. So I want to go maybe negative 0.7 for this font. That's good. So this is one way to do it. Now at this point, all of the letters are connected. So you select the text box, come up to this menu item called weld. And what that will do is it will make it so the laser sees this as one piece or the blade sees it as one piece. The best part about this is you can double click and let's say you, oh, I put an H when I didn't need one. You can just double click. Even though you can see each individual letter, if you click off it, it goes back to weld. Okay. So that right there is ready to cut. So let's just move that over there. The other way, and probably the one I explain most in email, is let's say you wanna move the S down to where it is aligned with the H, okay? There's a couple ways you can do that. The easiest and fastest, because if I'm making these as a profit item, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time. I'm gonna take the S off of this up here. I'm gonna change the whatever. I think I did what, negative 0.7? Does that look right? Yeah. Negative 0.7. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to manually position it. You can see right there the blue line. Let me come down a little bit so you can see it a little better. When I get that blue line aligned with the top of the H, it pops up. And then I'm going to adjust it left and right to mirror the kerning uh, between these other letters. Now, this portion over here, you can weld and it would still be editable, right? Like we had before. This portion here, you cannot weld it together, right? So you can weld it by itself, but that's not gonna do anything because that's still gonna cut two pieces, cut your S out of your A. So what you wanna do is just select both pieces and come up to the combine menu, that's these here, and you're gonna choose the first one called Unite. Now, I wanna show you the difference here. This one has a name and it is editable. This one has a vector and it is not editable other than nodes, right? These are the node managements. So that is just dependent upon what you wanna do, what makes you feel more comfy, whatever. I'm actually gonna delete this one because it doesn't matter. We can use both of these. So for the purpose of our example, we now have our name, right? That's the text. 
I'm going to change it to engrave so that you can see the next step. That next step is offset. So with your text box selected, you're going to come up to offset. If you're using a previous version of XCS, you can do outline. When you have this menu pop up, please note any changes you make, you have to hit confirm because if you click off of here, it'll drop all of your changes. So I'm going to make this quick external rounded and then this is whatever your little heart desires okay this is going to add this little outline around the letters it's a bit it's a bit big but whatever makes your heart happy okay it's not for me to decide this can change with the font style or if your customer wants it a little bit bigger so now i'm going to hit confirm to lock that in over in the menu or layers item you can see in the objects we now have two pieces we have our editable name and then we have this outline. So I'm just gonna drop this down here and I'm going to zoom in a little. So on our outline, you can see that the S has some holes and the A's have some holes. There are multiple things that you need to consider. I don't love the holes, especially with little, little kids because that's just a problem waiting to happen. I also don't want the laser to potentially mark up my acrylic and that these would definitely do that. And then the third thing, I hope you notice, this right here is horrible because when we size this down, again, it's 10.8 in inches right now. When we size it down, that little join right there, she's not gonna be able to cover what a four-year-old can do to a, a bag tag. So what we wanna do is adjust this outline only. This is locked in. We don't need to adjust anything. This is what we need to adjust. You can select it, come up to edit, and you can highlight and delete the notes. When you hit done, See, so again, edit, you'll just hold down your mouse key to highlight. And if it's dark green like that, we hit done, it's gone. But I'm lazy and I like doing things faster. So I hit C on my keyboard, hold shift and make a circle and then copy that over and over. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. If you want me to talk about why I'm doing this stuff, because if I'm selling or whatever, I will. But for right now, I'm just gonna come and mirror, there you go. What I wanna do here, okay. So all I'm doing here is I'm removing not only these little holes, but I'm also tightening up that, okay? So I've taken my 90 degree out for these kinds of things and one more right here and again i have reason to do all of that stuff but again if, if you sell i'll let you know you can ask for another video and i'll do that okay so i'm going to highlight everything and come up here to combine unite now that will all cut as one big piece of acrylic okay just fyi i'm going to go ahead and do that do it again there we go so now if we, you can manually place this, but it's not worth it. I'm just gonna go up here and do a line center. Now it's going to have a piece of acrylic on top, a big thick full, full piece of acrylic on back. So now at this point, we just need to size. So I'm going to say, let's say we're making a four inch bag tag. Now we need to make our bag tag or our keychain holder. So you don't have to use circles but circles are usually one of the easiest ways to determine what you're using. So I obviously have auto snap on. If you see like that little crosshair, that's auto snap. What you're gonna do is takes two circles, one is smaller, one is larger, and you're gonna subtract, okay? And if you wanna check and see if it worked, just go to engrave, there should be a big circle in the middle. Now, for those of you who are wondering, different keychain apparatus, will have different thicknesses here and a different, uh, ooh, <laughs> I just did the wrong one, um, different um, spacing between the actual outline and the edge. So I'm gonna talk about that real quick. I'm gonna turn off the text. So I'm just locking and turning it off. So when you are measuring, after you've really sized your uh, piece, you're going to measure, just hit R, make a rectangle, I'm gonna go ahead and make that engrave and we'll make it another color just so you can see it. Let's line up these two left. 
and I'm going to unlock this rectangle so that I can drag it out to this edge. Okay, so right now this rectangle's width is 0.119. For your project, you may need something much thicker because it needs to withstand whatever it is use case, right? So you can see this one that I made, let me make it engrave, is much thicker. Okay, so we got 0.119 up there. Let's just drag that down, align left. And we'll make this one drag over here. So yeah, that's much thicker. So you can see it's 0.178. So again, this is gonna be dependent upon what you're using it for. I don't love the thinner ones, just FYI. Again, if you're using a luggage tag, like those plastic luggage tag things, um, if you're using a lobster claw, there's a whole bunch of different keychain, a keychain thingy is another one. Um, depending on what you're doing, this actual thing will change. But the other thing you need to, especially if you're using a clasp or a jump ring or something like that, is the distance between the outline edge and the inside of the circle. So just note that that's going to change for every one of your projects. All I need to do to combine these is just hit combine unite. Then I turn back on my lettering and you can see now I have my two pieces. I have my outline and my name with the keychain apparatus being put on the outline. That's what we want. So for the name and the keychain uh, outline, you're just going to put them both to cut. For this, if you're brand new, get 3M467M, as in Mary, P, as in Paul. That is an adhesive tape that you apply to the back of acrylic or wood before you cut the name shape. It will cut that tape along with the name so that you can just peel off the tape backing and smack it onto this outline. It's so much easier, it's so much cleaner, and it's so much faster than glue. I have a ton of respect for 3M467MP, but there's another brand a little cheaper called Dual Tight, T-I-T-E. Both of those will work for this application. I hope that helped you. If you have any questions or want to see how I would set up a product file for this exact product, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Please like it, uh, this video, share this video, and subscribe for more crafting fun.